summer rain on the window. Watch the time float on. Cool air blows a memento as I fall. Beachside Booty and Abs from the Wellness Method, the Inner Strength Workout Program. Did you have a nice workout? You had a nice workout? Yeah, okay. Why has it gotta be so complicated? Maybe this life thing's overrated. My feet in the sand, my face in my hands. I know it's my fault cause I never make plans. And now you're telling me you love me and she don't even know me. I'm trying to hang, but if you follow me, we slow. What? Do you ever just eat food and then you're like, okay, I don't even know how to cook. Wow. Mmm. Wow. The mushroom. day and morning at home workout daily bread nourishing foods fun recipes speaking of recipes well not really a recipe but I just brewed up some fresh hibiscus tea it is so warm today it's like 93 degrees outside which is the warmest day that we have had in quite a while so but anyway nice little hibiscus tea after a farmer's market trip so I'm gonna do a little grocery haul and show you what I picked up I just love the farmer's market so much. It's truly like the highlight of my week. I love going. It was extra busy today, so it felt very lively. But anyway, so I brewed up some fresh hibiscus tea because I forgot that I purchased hibiscus flowers, dried hibiscus flowers from iHerb, which I love iHerb so much. So I was like, I'm gonna do that right now. That just sounds so refreshing and so delicious. And hibiscus is actually very rich in vitamin C. And I love just getting vitamin C in just these kind of whole food for just the natural form, you know? So, you know, cause it's just hibiscus. And so naturally occurring, it's just rich in vitamin C. And so I love that. It's just gonna be very bioavailable to the body, just very absorbable to the body. Anyway, let's get into our farmer's market haul. And it's also very rich in antioxidants as well. Helps us to fight, you know, cellular damage and free radicals and things like that. So it's just really amazing. And I put some raw honey in there, super easily digestible carbohydrate. Really great too, especially after that workout this morning, which was such an amazing at-home workout. I truly love the inner strength workouts that I program for you. They're inside of the wellness method. So, and even though the new program isn't up in there yet, as I mentioned this morning, uh, the workout, the full workout program is in there and they're such amazing workouts. I remember programming them and anyway, I tested them to 
perfection. I just, they're great workouts. I did modify though. I didn't want to do the skaters at the end, which is great. You want to work in different planes of motion. The workouts are very well thought through and thought out. And the way that I designed them is just incredible. So anyway, we won't get into all that, but um, I did switch it up just because I didn't feel like doing the jumping today, but it is really great to work in that lateral. You know, you just want to work in different planes of motion, but I did planks instead. So did a little bit more core work and it was fun. So let's get into our haul. So picked up a fresh thing of strawberries. It's strawberry season and I am just living for strawberry season. It's the highlight of the year. My grandma used to make this strawberry dip when we were little and growing up and she would mix marshmallow and cream cheese. Super random. I am so curious, have you ever done that? It's like a, a whipped dip and then you dip the strawberries in there. I could eat 100 pounds of those. Like when I was little and growing up, you know I did not leave that tub until it was gone because there was a lot of us grandkids and I was gonna get my share of it. It was so good and just a fun childhood memory. But anyway, that's cute. Okay, it's fun to think about. And then picked up some blueberries, but I was thinking like, how could I really recreate that? I don't really know. We got some blueberries, which these are also phenomenal. It's just the best. Berries from the farm are so good. All right, moving on from our berries. Of course, we had to get our carrot for a daily raw carrot. And then I did pick up these fingerling potatoes again because if you saw my last, I believe, what I eat in a week, um, I made these delicious fingerling potatoes and I just put them, I put some ghee on them and thyme and salt and pepper, popped them in the oven, they cooked up so fast. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper and then I think I did a little bit of Parmesan Reggiano just for those really good fat soluble vitamins and minerals. And it was so tasty and then I put fresh parsley. I put some fresh parsley on there. So that was really good. And then I have been loving these tomatoes there recently. I love these orange ones. They are so flavorful, super hydrating. I think I'm actually going to whip up a little. Oh no, no. That's what I get. That's what I get for doing a haul and flailing the tomatoes. <laughs> it actually held up pretty good. Poor tomato, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna whip up a little salad. I'll do a little caprese salad. I think that'd be so yummy. This, and I got some mozzarella, and then we do have some fresh basil. So that just sounds very hydrating and refreshing and yummy. And then I grabbed some navel oranges. These are just always so good to snack on. I love to have fresh fruit uh, to munch on throughout the day. And then last but not least, I picked up some cilantro. So always love to have fresh herbs. It's so good for you and adds so much flavor to food. Wow, that just smells amazing. Oh, and last but not least, I picked up a little sweet pea bunch and they had them in water already because they're so delicate and they just need to be in water the second that they're picked. Otherwise they just have a hard time. So I wish you could smell these through the camera too. They are so good and so fragrant. That is my little farmer's market all for you. And let's go ahead and make our little caprese salad. That sounds so yummy. And then we will sit down and get a lot of writing done. I'm gonna work on the book and sip on my hibiscus tea. I almost forgot because they were in the fridge, but I also picked up these local honey and garlic sausages from a local farm nearby. So I'm so excited. I think we're going to make that for dinner tonight. And then I did pick up some grass fed beef as well. So, okay, let's make our little salad. Okay. I cannot remember the last time that I baked something, so I really need to write, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take the time and bake some blueberry muffins. <laughs> I literally can't remember the last time that I baked. And by the way, we're gonna do a little Trader Joe's grocery haul real quick. But yeah, I thought that would be so fun to curl up on the couch and write and bake and have some blueberry muffins. Well, write and bake, 
bake and then write and have some blueberry muffins to enjoy while I'm writing. So I figured that would be super fun and show you how to whip them up. Quick Trader Joe's haul, I picked up a watermelon, so I'm hoping that this one's a good one. Got a watermelon. I have been really enjoying Kara Kara oranges, so so has Bo. So I grabbed a bag of those and then some coconut sugar because I want to bake and I don't want to run out of it because we do like to use it for our coffee as well. So grab that and then I really do like their gluten-free flour. So um, I picked up a couple of bags of these and then just some acai packets because I don't like running out of these and if I'm at Trader Joe's, I usually always grab one and then some more bananas. We're trying to restock our banana freezer supply for acai bowls and smoothies. So I wanted to grab some more of these. Another coconut sugar, again, just for baking. We don't run out. And then this is super fun. I saw this Hawaiian macadamia nut blossom and multi-floral raw honey. So raw unfiltered honey. I Look how beautiful the package is. It just makes me want to go to Hawaii like and just soak up the sunshine and lay in the shade of the palms. That sounds amazing. Okay, let's all go right now. Um, and so anyway, I just honestly, I was so drawn to the name and the packaging and it was only $4.99. I figured I want to try this. I want to do a little taste test of it right now. So anyway, going to do that. And then, of course, we had to pick up our, tar our dark chocolate honey mints because we ran out. My dad came into town and <laughs> gave him a few of these, and he loved them. So I'm actually going to pop these into the freezer right now. These are so good. If you get them, always put them in the freezer. I'm going to try this delicious-looking honey. I'm so excited. Mm. Oh, wow. Whoa. That's a very unique tasting honey. It really is. It's definitely got those floral notes. Gathered by bees that forage on the blossoms of macadamia nut trees and tropical flowers. Velvety texture and slightly nutty flavor makes this a very unique and special honey. It definitely has a slightly nutty flavor. It's kind of warming is how I would describe it as well. <laughs> it's very delicious. <laughs> My goodness. It looks good. Those blueberries are unreal. It is so unbelievably warm. I don't know why I'm wearing a sweatshirt. <laughs> I think it's eight o'clock. I'm pretty sure it's eight. I think the sun is setting it. Yeah. It's 8.05. That is so wild. What a quick day. Today went by so fast. I am going to get some writing done now, which not that I don't want to write, but I'm just tired. And I was thinking about this just now, but I feel like I'm in one of those seasons where it it is overwhelming and and I'm in a place in my life right now where I'm trying to pace myself but I'm finding that with pacing myself I'm getting behind like it's it's not fast enough <laughs> and here's the thing this is what I was thinking I'm like it's just for this season you know like if 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 it was just the book or just the program or anything like that um, it's just balancing a lot. I want to post and I want to write and I want to film and I want to when it finish the wellness method and I want to go with the flow and like, you know what I mean? Like when I was talking to my editor recently, uh, we shifted the format of the book a little bit. I was just 
so grateful for that because it definitely lightened the workload, which was just, it was honestly astronomical. Like I was talking to my friend Robin Jones Gunn, who's the author of over 100 books. She's incredible. And she was saying like, yeah, you can get that done if you want to have Bo pick up tacos for dinner every night and like do nothing but write. And I was like, that's just not realistic for my life right now. And so it was good. We had a chat. We re, we're re redoing some stuff. That's the thing. Even just a normal book manuscript is still a lot. And again, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I'm not just trying to hit a deadline. I'm really, I want, I just, this book is really, it, my heart is like in this book. And I, the only way I can really explain it though too is that I said this in a video previously as well, but it's not that I'm like, yes, I'm pouring my heart into it, but I also feel like God's really pouring me out into it. And I'm really wrestling through it and I'm working through the text and I'm not just like getting it done and writing it. And so, okay, hit my word count, but I struggle too with, I want it to be perfect. And so, which it's not going to be perfect. There's nothing perfect. There's no there's not, but I want it. I want my voice to be there and I want the message to be there is what I should say. And so it's a, it's a very weighty on my heart and it's a, it's a responsibility that I do take very cautiously, but excitedly. But the key is, the key is, is that this is only a season. And I think sometimes the pendulum swings so far one side or sometimes to the other. And I think that it's okay. Like, I, I, I think that it's sometimes we have this idea like we want to live in balance and but the reality is is I don't think there is balance I think there's just I think there is harmony you know sometimes you are going to be in a more demanding season where you're maybe finishing college or you're a new mom or you know it whatever whatever it looks like where it's just a lot you know it's just a lot and that's just how it is you know and that's how it's going to be and uh, you know, maybe you're trying to finish medical school or nursing school or you're getting married. You're just in a season where it's just a lot and, and that's the way that it is. And so, but trying to find harmony. And I feel like today, all that to say was kind of that, you know, I haven't gotten any writing done, which definitely as we approach the deadline, there's not, there's going to be less and less days like this. It just fills my cup to go to the farmer's market and have a morning where I just can read and you know, it was so nice to even just go to Trader Joe's and bake, just doing something that really just filled me up. And I was so glad to spend the day with you. It was a really good day. So I do need to write and it's 8.15. And I just, I think what I'll do is I'll just work on edits from the previous devotions that I've already written. Cause I feel like writing like a fresh new thing will just be a little too taxing for my brain tonight. But I do find myself um, at the end of the day, like just tired, you know, not, not tired. Actually, I have really good energy right now. I just want to wind down. I guess that's what I should say. Cause I actually feel really energized and very good, which I'm super thankful for that. I am so thankful to God for learning about nourishment, especially in this season where it is more, where it is more stressful. That is something that you can do, um, is nourish your body. And if there's one thing that I have learned in these seasons is that before I thought that intermittent fasting was you know, that that's what I thought was healthy. And it kind of got to a point where I was really just thinking, well, I'm just going to do it every single day. And I didn't realize that I was chronically just not eating enough. I wasn't getting enough protein, carbs, fat throughout the day. And I was just experiencing the effects of that, you know, after many years of doing that. And that just really took a toll on my body. And at first I felt really good you know, at first what happens is, you know, your adrenal glands, they secrete cortisol. It's a stress hormone. It keeps you going. So you feel really, really good. But then after many, many years of doing that, it, it really, it's kind of like, you know, I, it's like, you got to pay it back. You know what I mean? Like my body was like, I was so exhausted and my periods were worse than ever before. And they just kept getting worse. And I was like, what is going on? And I am super thankful for learning about nourishment and, just understanding that food fuels our bodies and how it does that and macronutrients and micronutrients and just everything like that. So really cool that I'm, I'm just really grateful for that of, you know, the summer of 2020 when I got certified as a nutrition coach and even thinking about the future. Wow. We're just really chatting it up right now, but 
hopefully you enjoy. Um, we'll finish this thought, but I was thinking about the future and I am really excited. I do want to really further my education. Um, I actually am going to be doing that. I'm going to be um, getting certified as a corrective exercise specialist right after I finish my book deadline. So literally right after I submit my manuscript, I start studying, which I could start studying right now, but I feel like uh, I just can't. Like I literally, I literally just can't. My brain will just be like, I'm done. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. Um, but I'm, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to study really hardcore and just give that my all after I submit my book. So it's just a crazy year and I can't believe that it's already mid-May. Like it is a lying. But anyway, so I do really want to uh, further my education though, even with nutrition after I get my corrective exercise specialization, which is also really exciting. And I just have some really exciting things planned for even next year for you that I just, it's going to be so amazing. So I just really truly love you and I love to help you and support you and and just even just hanging out with you is just I, I'm just so grateful for you. I truly am and it's it's truly one of the greatest joys of my life to just be a part of your life. And if that's you know, I love reading your comments. I really do just hearing that you love the meal inspiration and you love, you know, learning or you just love hanging out with me and Bo and laughing and seeing Meester and like I just, I'm truly so grateful to get to do life with you. It's honestly one of my greatest joys in life and I'm so excited. So I'm excited about this book and it kind of just even saying that and just chatting with you has reminded me of, it is honestly such an honor to get to write a book for you and to get to make a program for you. And I think that my passion just wants to do it now because I want to get it done for you now. But I also hope that I can really um, show you and emulate a life that, you know, you, you can't do it at the speed of light. You know what I mean? And that is healthy. That is healthy. And a lot of the times maybe we feel like we need to be further along or we need to be, but really this is the moment. This is the moment that we're supposed to be in and that we're supposed to live in. And worry and fear and overwhelm can try to push and pull us but ultimately it can't stop us from being in the moment. It can only rob us of this present now. And that's only what it does. That's only what worry and fear does is it just takes, it doesn't add, it takes away. And you know, that's what Jesus said, you know, that my yoke is easy, my burden is light. And that's the thing is that even when he was saying that, um, it's not that all of the deadlines and everything that we have to do is going to go away, but that he would yoke up alongside of us and come alongside of us and carry life with us and, and do the heavy lifting for us in the sense of we don't have to be overwhelmed and worried. And that that's the, that's the invitation of come and, and you will find rest for what your souls. And sometimes our schedules can be so demanding on our souls that we you know, we need, we can't do it alone, you know, but, but we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And so I love those two verses coupled together. I can do nothing without him, but I can do everything with him. And so I just hope that encourages you tonight. And every time I talk to you, I always just like want to tear up because I just really deeply care about you and everything that I just, yeah, I don't know. I get, I get so excited. I want the wellness method to be done. I want the book to be done. And I'm like, I'm literally tearing up right now. Like I just truly care about you so much. And sometimes I worry like, you know, are they going to think that the wellness method's never going to get done? Or like, you know, when's the book coming out? And I just, I'm like, I don't know. I can get overwhelmed and worried and fearful about things too. And I do want to assure you all these things are going to happen, but thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I truly love you so much. I'm going to do a fun little Starbucks gift card giveaway in the comments for you. So leave a comment and just let me know what one thing that you do to fill up your cup is, whether it's baking, working out, having a day of just solitude and quiet, whatever that looks like for you. I would love to hear it. I really would. Leave a comment, let me know, and you'll be entered to win a Starbucks gift card. A Starbucks, a Starbucks. If you did enjoy this video, please click thumbs up. It would mean the world to me and it really does help because it just really does. So thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you in a new video very soon. I love you, bye. As I fall behind